everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood fisherman. That's right, I'm not farming today. I'm fishing. This is Fishing Barrent Sea. That's right. Uh, I got this on sale on the Steam. On Steam? On the Steam. I got this on, li on the line. Alright, I got this on Steam. Uh, it was half off for the whole deal. I think the base game was like $14.99 and then I, got all I went ahead and just bought all the DLCs and all that stuff. I think it was like 20 something bucks. Whatever, let's go with it. This may be a complete waste of time. This game may absolutely, absolutely be horrible. It could be. It could be absolutely awful. We're going to find out. I went ahead and played the tutorial because I'm not going to submit that. You know, I'm not going to submit you as the viewer to such torture as watching me read instructions and all that stuff. So let's start a new career. New career. Do we want to be a male or a female? Well, we will be a male. Jan Nielsen. No. Character's name is Raznak, as all character names should be. We're going to start without the tutorial. We want to start in Hammerfest. All right. Here we are. This is our little... We are in the town of Hammerfest. If you don't know where the Barents Sea is, I'm pretty sure it's up there, like, near uh, Norway and Finland and Sweden and Russia and uh, all that place is up there. Yeah. That's where it's at. So this is our little bo boat, the Borge. I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That is the Borge. Uh, let's look at... See what kind of gear we have. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Let's dock. We're going to dock at the Hammerfest. Our reputation is Junior at the Hammer. Um, and let's go to the fish market. We have two long lines. We're going to go ahead. I've got 20,000. I believe that's Cronin or Cron. I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I, who knows? Let's go ahead and buy. Ooh, those are expensive. Those are kind of pricey. Um, let's just go ahead. We'll, we went ahead and bought one. It's like 10 grand for a whole long line. Ooh, that's kind of spendy. All right, let's go ahead and bait those. Before we bait them, let's, uh, let me look at my logbook here. Because I, I I know there's seasons, there's events. Um, what's today's date? August 15th is the date. So, events, uh, August. Macro, macro Republic is moving at the moment. Go trawling. I can't trawl. Uh, so, I don't want Haddock. That's okay. We want Pollock. I think we want Pollock. There's this whole wiki thing and all this different kinds of stuff. But you can go to bait. Uh, cod, 60% Pollock, 20. Crab, Cod, Pollock. Krill, Mackerel. Uh, I think this... We really want Pollock and Hat. I don't know. I really don't know. Pollock. You can look at prices. What's the prices? We can't catch king crab there. Can't catch mackerel. Pollock. 12 krona per kilogram. Yeah, we want pollock and redfish. That's really, that's what we want. We want pollock and redfish. So, what bait do we need? What bait do we need? Alright, uh, this is starting off awful. Let's look at our bait. Pollock and crabfish. Uh, pollock. 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 I think mackerel then, right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Krill catches a bunch of redfish. Serene piece. All right, let's get. Uh, we're gonna get. We'll get Pollock. All right. Go to the fish market, and you go to your long lines, and then we bait these with mackerel. And now our lines are baited. And I'm, I'm pretty sure their fuel tank's full. Let's go to the dock. Yep, yeah. fuel tank is full. Upgrades. We don't have enough money to upgrade anything. We don't. We are flat broke. This is our grandpa's old boat. He gave us this old boat. Let's go fishing. Now, slowly work our way out of the dock. There are tons of boats. It, it, I mean, I look, they're 
I think 12, 15 different boats you can buy, all different kinds of stuff. There is a first person view. Oh, I don't want that. That's my binoculars. There is a first person view that you can get to. And uh, actually, you can actually, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of get up. It's this. Oh, that's to rotate your searchlight. Like, we can go in here and sit down and we can fire up our furnace and we can go out here onto the deck set our gear we can actually steer the boat from here because we're just a one-man crew it's just us in our boat and all by ourselves let's pull up the map now what we want to do is we're fishing for Paula Ooh, yeah that's good fishing right here all this right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set I know set a waypoint right here and there's a lot of different ways you can play this game. Of course, like any other game, we can sit here and just ride around in our little boat for hours. We're 600 and something meters away from our destination. And we'll just sit there, plug along, blah, 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 blah. And no, we don't want to do that. So let's fast travel. We'll fast travel out here to the fishing grounds. And now that we're here, what we can do is pull up our sonar. Ooh, that's a oh yeah, that's a good bunch of fish. Set our gear. We set our long lines. Oh, look at all those fish! I hope we catch a bunch of them. We shall be successful. Um, let's look at our map here. We'll just keep going. Speed up. I want my sonar. When we see another big school of fish, we'll we'll drop our Come here, fishy fishies, fishies. Where are your fishies at? Fishy fishy fishies. Yeah, sure, that's a good enough spot set our long line here. Although those were mainly crabs. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Of course it is. You know, I'm, in, I'm only trying to do something. Alright, that's set. Let's keep kind of... Let's go south. We'll set our lines here south. Like I said, I played the tutorial and you learn a bunch of this stuff in the tutorial. This game does have one big downside. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. There's something about this game that I really, really don't like. See, all those fish are kind of deep. I don't know if we want those. There we go. That looked like quite a few fish. Yeah, there's oh, there are a bunch of red fish, but it's okay. I, I mean, I don't know how much it really matters, to be honest with you. Like, I've I played. I was playing around the tutorial. As long as you kind of put your gear in the heavily populated areas on the map, you should be okay. I love this little boat. He's so cute. He's just little. There's some other fishermen here. Let's check our sonar here. There's probably a good way to do this. There's like probably techniques that I know nothing about. I just, I've just been, oh, we've set all of our lines. That's all three of our lines. Okay, all of our lines are set. Now we must wait. Really, that's what it comes down to. So uh, we're long lining. Again, there's different ways to fish. In the, in the beginning of the game, you long line. That's what we're doing here. Um, you set your lines, you come back later on, which we'll do in just a, in just a few minutes, and you pick up your fish. And you, you know, go from there. Uh, there's net, you can trawl, there's net fishing, there's crab fishing, there's like, I think there's like sea bottom trawling. There's all different kinds of stuff that you can do. All different ways to play the game. Oh, this would be a good spot right here. See all those fish close to the surface? I think, I think that would be good. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't learned the game yet. Now, here's the big, big, big negative to this game. Again, I've only played for a few hours. And the biggest negative I have, we need to let our our gear sit 
for about 20 hours. It's a game recommends long lines sit for 20 hours. Now the game isn't real time. You can see that it actually goes kind of kind of quick up here. But the only place that you can skip time is back in port. So we have to go all the way back into port, skip time, and then come you know come back out. I, I don't think that's a great great thing. I, I really don't enjoy that. I, I really wish that there's a way just for us to skip time right now. Um, but really what it comes down to is you have to do this. It's, that's what I've been doing is you just literally um, to skip time you plot a bunch of waypoints and you drive around in your boat and you have to watch the clock. Do, 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 do. All right, there's that. Now, I'm sure this, as the game goes further, it gets, you know, a little more enjoyable in that aspect. So we check our lines. See, they've only been down for five hours. So we, we could go back. Let's go back to port. We'll go back to port. We'll go into port. All right, I'll be back once this stuff has sat for um, the amount of time it needs to sit, about 20 hours. And then uh, we'll go from there. What do you guys say? We're gonna head back into port. You guys can see this nice little port time. Isn't it cool? I think it's really cool. I think it's kind of neat. It's 8.30 at night. I think we're up here close to the Arctic Circle because it really doesn't get very dark. Could be wrong, but it doesn't get very dark. I guess, uh, what do we can we look at real quick? Let's look at the other, no, we're not gonna look at the other boats. That'd be cheating. All right, I'm gonna jump away. And we're gonna wait for our lines to soak, and then when I be when I get back, I do some fishing. Let's see in just a second. What have we here? A new location, Hammerfest Centrum. It's a different dock that you can interact with. It's pretty cool. I was just kind of out cruising around, waiting for time to pass. We still have quite a while. Uh, we're not even halfway there. <laughs> Not even halfway there. So I can, I'm probably just gonna, I'm gonna pull over here to hammer fist and dock because once you're in, in the in the dock, you can fast forward time. Um, so I mean, maybe that's the game mechanic, I guess, cause you, maybe you wouldn't sit out on the water for 20 hours just hanging out. I, I, I'm, and I got to thinking after I've, I've played for a little bit, the best thing probably be to do would, you know, you kind of make a, a I guess a route is what you would do. So even though our boat can only hold so much gear, maybe you set a bunch, go back, get some more, set a bunch, go back, get some more, set a bunch, once you have the money. And then what you're doing is just literally a route. And you know, when you when you pick up your lines, you drop some new ones, and you know, you're just kind of doing a route. And that way you're not really waiting, you're just moving from fishing location to fishing location, either setting lines or picking them up. And we'll show you picking up in just a minute. I'm going to go over here to the dock. And I'm going to go to the pub or the bar or the inn or whatever whatever they call it up here in the frozen north. <laughs> we'll see you in just a second. All right, we are back. And our lines have been in the water for 18 hours and 55 minutes. If you look down here on the, on the map, it shows you. If they're blue, that means we want them. So you go up to them, you hit E. Would you like to haul in a long line? Yes. Yes, I would love to. And then you have like this little kind of mini game where you, you're grabbing the fishes. And the it kind of builds. So for each good and perfect, you get a certain percentage increase to your yield. Or I guess your catch weight. And again, this is the earliest part of the game. This is the only way that you can start fishing is long lining because we don't have money to buy a boat that supports like nets or trawling or any of the other things. So this is this is kind of the most basic way. This is the way our grandfather taught us because this is his old boat that he gave us. It even says that in the description. <laughs> old boat your grandpa gave you. And the most I've ever gotten on the line... See, right there I missed, so you didn't really get any bonus. Just said okay. Um, 
the most I've ever had on a line are 15 fish, but I've only used the short lines. Eventually, we can get longer lines. And I, again, I don't know if those hold more fish. I just don't know. I don't know these things. We will soon find out. Perfect. Got it. Oh. One more. One more and this line is finished. Alright. So there we go. And that's our catch summary. 71 kilograms of haddock, 218 kilograms of pollock, and 6 kilograms of redfish. So uh, the number on the line I don't think correlates to actual fish. It just kind of gives you an estimate. You can see our other buoys are, are blue. Um, but what else you can do is... Let me go in here. Let me stop driving. I'll just kind of float here. Is we can go over here to our little cutting board, and we can gut the vi the fish. And when you gut the fish, you get better you get better results. I guess because the junk is gone, so you get a little yeah. So it gives us a I guess better quality fish from when we go to sell it. And you just kind of have to follow this line. And as long as you get above three stars, you get a bonus to your the price. If you get below, oh no. If you mess up and get do like really bad, um, like this, you actually lose it. I didn't do very good. That wasn't a very good one. <gasps> and then that's it. We're done gutting those fish. Let's go get these other. Oh, I'll tell you what, we can, let's just drive from here. Because I mean, we're, we're on the on the deck here. Let's find our buoys. There they are. Doo, doo, doo. And that's long lining. That's pretty much long lining. It's there's it's not a super complicated process um, in the game. Again, I've only played for a couple hours. I have not even looked at any of the other boats, uh, any of the other stuff. And you can see we have like our crate of fish. We we have a uh, we have only so much weight we can carry. And I'm pretty sure. I, in my playing, the, the more weight you have on the boat, the slower and the faster you go through fuel, because this boat only holds 150 liters. You have a hull. Um, oh. Come on. Make that turn. Make it. You have hull integrity, which over time goes down, and that's kind of similar to just like repairing your equipment, um, maintaining your boat. That costs money. You have to maintain it. We'll haul in another line here. Perfect! That's all we're doing. We're just catching fish here. Catching the fishes. So I'm gonna get all these fish dragged in. All three of our lines. We'll get those brought in. And then from there we'll go back to the dock and we'll sell our, our, our haul and see how much money we make. I'll see you there. Here we are, pulling into dock. Into the port of... I think it's Hammerfest? Hammerfist? I think that's what it is. I think we got... What do we got? Uh, 1759 kilograms. Only 1,200 of it gutted. I didn't gut the rest of it. I just went ahead and did it. So, you can choose how much you want to sell at each port. Uh, and then, other ports, the prices vary. Again, I, I'm still kind of learning all this, so I'm not quite sure. So we're going to hit sell. And I really like this screen because I think it looks really, really cool. So Port Hammerfist time 1241 revenues. Pollock, it shows you um, how many of each size fish we had. Like we had five fish under five kilograms, 26 over between five and ten. I th this is really, really cool. And it looks neat. Uh, we had some haddock that we, that we sold. Um, we also had some red fish that we sold. So total fish, 124 fish, 1,240.9 kilograms uh, for a total revenue of $17,760 for that run. Nice. Nice money. Now, your, your logbook, this is your logbook. It shows you seasons. It is currently summer. And then events. Uh, it gives you dates for these events from like September 24th to November 6th. It's low haddock demand, so we need to be aware of that. Mackerel breeding is from January 8th to... Oh no, I'm looking at that wrong. Day, month, year. Okay, so 
June 11th to September 24th is low haddock demand. August 8th to October. Okay, I just I just got to learn. Uh, you can get jobs. I'm talking about this. this is my gear. It shows actually how many gear I have and then how old it is. So 20 hours my gear. I don't know if it eventually goes bad. I haven't got that far yet. It shows your current sales and your certifications. I only have a MG boat license. Uh, small boat license. A tiny fishing vessel is my only boat license. Now that we're here at the dock, I'll show you some of the stuff. Again, we have the fish market. shows you the fish prices. We can buy more lines. You can also upgrade your equipment. See, we can get uh, or better... Uh, I don't know what these are called. <laughs> these grabber, these fish spikes or whatever they want to call them. They give you bigger fish. You know, you upgrade it and you can get better fish. Uh, you can get better fishing knives. Uh, you can get better uh, binoculars, help you see farther. Which I, I really haven't, other than for aesthetics, I really don't know the point of that. Then we can go into town. There's a bank. We can borrow a bunch of money from the bank if you want to. You can borrow a bunch of money. There is the bar, and you can see right here, load odd supply in Ackerford. It's a desperate need of additional fish. The fishers want to pay 23 per, if you deliver 120 kilograms of cod to Agri for seven days. So you can take that job. We can go out and search for cod. And then there's um, fishing boat services. So if you uh, your boat gets damaged, you run out of fuel, any of that stuff, you have to pay 8000 per tow. Or you can pay 10000 for a whole year. So I guess it's really up to you to balance that. Also, you have the dock. You can change the name of your boat. The Bjorge. You can change it to uh, uh, I don't what do we want to what do we want to call our boat? Our boat name. The Crystal Darling. I don't know. That's what we're going with. <laughs> I don't know. And then you can change the color, you know, color scheme and all that kind of dim normal stuff that you can do. We'll call that the Crystal Darling. You can buy fuel, of course, and then, of course, repair the hull. Also, you have boat upgrades. We can upgrade our storage. We can upgrade our engine, um, which allows you to go faster, better horsepower. You can upgrade the radar, which eventually, uh, let me see if I can pull it up here. Like, if you go into the map screen, I can't, unless I'm out fishing. There's a bunch of area on the map that you can't see. It's not been discovered, and with a better radar, I guess you can see... Uh, a greater area. Let's see what else we got. Uh, you can buy boats, which we won't look at just yet. Um, you can upgrade your quota. Each boat has a limited amount of fish that it can it can catch over its lifetime. And once you reach that quota, you're done with. The, you have to retire the boat, if I'm understanding it right. You can get searchlights again, which I think are just aesthetic. I don't think they really serve much of a purpose. Along with the masts, I don't really think the masts do anything. As far as I know, I'm still learning. And then, of course, we can buy boats. Borge is an old rusty boat with sluggish controls that was given to you by your grandfather. There it is. And it gives you the, um, you know, information. Here is our quotas. And like I said, once you fill these up, I think you have to retire the boat. I don't think you can catch any more. I, I don't know how that works. And then here's another little boat we can buy. This is the Yazzie. It looks like a little, <laughs> like a little speedboat. Uh, so the board can hold four long lines up to a thousand hooks per line, because we have we have three right now at 250 hooks. So I'm assuming the thousand hooks will catch more fish each time. I don't know. You get the Yazzie, and then we have the Toby. Those are the boats we can buy right now. Uh, 595,000. Dollars or krona or whatever, whatever the, I mean. But they can hold eight long lines, so we can go out with eight lines at a time. And then eventually, as you unlock better certifications, you can get bigger boats. See, you got like the Folabin. I'm not even gonna try to this. I'm not even gonna try to say it. I'm not. We're gonna call this the Shark. This is the Selfie. And then you got the Sharky. And then as these as you get bigger boats, see like this boat, we can long line net and go crabbing with that boat. This boat you can long line or net. 
Um, this one is long line only. Long line net. This one is crab pots. Large pots. Like this is a deadliest catch kind of fishing. Which I thought was pretty cool. You only can catch king crab. That's all you can catch on that boat. Then you have the snar set. Which is long lines and net fishing. The Moby D. <laughs> it looks like long line and net. This is a trawler. This is a pelagic trawler. And it only will catch... Uh, mackerel. It's actually set up for mackerel. Uh, you can catch pollock with it, but that's a big trawler. That thing's huge. And then the, there's a big... This is the Hermes. And this is a bottom trawler, which catches all different kinds of fish. But that's that's the different boats. Uh, that is kind of the game. Uh, let me know what you think about in the comments. Let me know if you're interested in watching something like this. I, so far, I've really enjoyed it. It's kind of relaxing, and it's fun. Uh, it's like a lot of other games, you know, farm sim, truck sim, stuff like that. It, it's it has a grindiness to it because you're just driving. You know, it's it's all about the you know the simulation of it. We're gonna go ahead and bait up some more long lines. I tell you what, I wanna I wanna catch some redfish. So let's grab. We're gonna get some krill. I don't know if we really should, but. We're to. Uh, I'm not going to take that job because I really don't know where the cod are at. Because we can go onto our map and uh, Pollock. See, there's no. Cod really aren't close. It's, uh, oh, redfish really close by. Set some waypoints. There we go. And then you can't fast travel till you're out of the dock. But this is back to the map. Like I said, all of this area here is unexplored, and you can't fast travel to it. Um, we have some undiscovered locations. Here's Hammerfest. Here's undiscovered location. This is undiscovered location. This is undiscovered. I mean, you kind of get the gist. There's a big dock up here. This is open water. I don't even know what that means. Uh, maybe like when you get into the trawlers and the big stuff like that, you have to go out in the open water. Who knows? Who knows what it is? All right, mateys! <laughs> I had to do the pirate voice. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, we'll see you next time.